uh, you know, I mean, we just couldn't do that. But then it was kind of like, it, it, we were kind of like, but it would be really amazing if we could. Uh, oh, there's our idea. So actually, Keith has a story credit on it. Yeah, and like, um, one thing that we wanted to really try to capture um, was just like, uh, whenever we're shooting movies and stuff, um, it's always like, so, it feels so serious, you know? And, um, and no matter how ridiculous the situation is, you can't take a step out of it, you know? You're just like in that moment and you're like dealing with it. So we kind of wanted to try to capture that kind of like traumatic feeling of like, you know, feeling like so involved in something and it's so important. But then when you take a step back and you kind of look at it in this context, it's like, what the hell is going on here, you know? Um, so, yeah. And, and in answer to your original question about the budgets, I feel really exploited and taken advantage. <laughs> Bigfoot. Yeah, um, it, it was really easy to me. Uh, the shooting, shooting a film in a very short period of time and everything else. But the, the, the hardest part for me was to, to make the story fit in less than five minutes. I initially was crying to the, the producers to make like 10 minutes long or something like that. Uh, it, it was very difficult because I, I haven't been making short films in a lot of years. Uh, but the rest was, was pretty easy. I want, I, what I knew from the beginning was that I wanted to put a lot of dialogues to annoy people reading subtitles. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, I think I, I, think I, I did it. And check out, there's another repeat screening of his film, which is in Vanguard, Here Comes the Devil. Check that one out. Sleep away to the festival. I can only speak Japanese, so please excuse me. I can't speak Japanese, アメリカンとかカナダの人も今日弾いてたのは分かりました。弾いてた。ちょっとあんまり笑えなかった。ブラックジョーク過ぎたんじゃないか。So <laughs> he is when he originally his concept was to make his challenge to himself was to make a film that could not be shown in Japan. <laughs> Worried that there wasn't a lot of laughter in Canada either. <laughs> but maybe in America. We'll know next week. Just <laughs> Whoops! I did it again. <laughs> he said it wasn't so difficult, it was just an ordinary movie where you shoot a lot of dicks. <laughs> From dicks to toilets. Well, I didn't have any pressure on my entry because, um, you know, I wasn't signed up for the film. It were a case of uh, do your best and, and, and hope for the best. And the film that I made cost me exactly 100 pounds, great British pounds. And it was made next to my bed. Uh, I was At the time I was living in, a, in an attic in Paris. And um, yeah, it was it, it, it a weird situation for me. And, 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 I, and, I, and I, I just, get, it felt impossible at the time, but I just gave it my best. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna make this film. And I just made it there, like next to the bed. <laughs> and it's, it's really weird because, you know, you brought into this world, the claymation world, which to me is just like this fucking piece of shit next to my bed. <laughs> uh, Carrie, this is your, your second time here, Tiff, because you've had uh, one of your shorts. I've had, a, I've had a short here before, yeah. This is my first time as 126th of a feature, so I'm very 126 excited about this 126th of tonight. I was to be for vaginus, which is Latin for the cries of a newborn, and for me it was like, I had just had a feature fall apart, and I had like, you know, just I was going through a rough time, and I was like, I need to do a short film to just wash out my creative juices, and you know, <laughs> And then I saw that this event was happening and I was like, I have to get involved if I can. So I started this campaign to get involved. And I think the very first thing I did was I emailed Harry Knowles at Ain't It Cool because he wrote this review of my last movie that said Altitude was fucking retarded. Yeah. 
but it was the kind of fucking retarded that I kind of like. So I was like, okay, uh, get me in touch with Team League. And then I got in touch with Team League's assistant, and she was like, no, this is full. I'm sorry. Thank you for applying. And I was like, I'm not stopping. I'm going to get this. And so I did the full court press, and, you know, I think I got the last spot on the, uh, on the roster. And then I was like, well, now what do I do? And it was like, well, okay, I used to make short films for no money, so no one's getting paid. You know, everything's for free. I'm getting every resource I can for free. Um, and that's what I, you know, did I had as many explosions as I could. I had a new baby. I'm like, I'm gonna behead my baby because that's production value. <laughs> and I have parental consent. <laughs> you know, whatever it takes, right? So it's free, totally. <laughs> so that's what I did. <laughs> All right, let's hear it for the ABCs again. Take that, gents. So uh, we we brought some posters. If anybody wants uh, one of these limited edition posters, limited by the quantity I have under my arm, uh, meet me in the lobby, and uh, I think we have some pens if uh, if you want these guys to sign these posters. So uh, thanks everybody for coming out, and uh, well, thank you, Colin, and thank you, Toronto. And be sure to come back tomorrow night, the final film for Midnight Madness 2012, Don Coscarelli's John dies at the end. Thank you very much.